The tower's height is a demolition nightmare. There are mansions to the north, a highway to the west, and park facilities to the south. So Mark Loiseau, CDI's demolition designer, must drop this 116-meter tower to the east. But he faces a major problem. Even here, the tower is 30 meters too long to land without causing damage. If it comes down at its full height, it will crush these federally protected dunes or the expensive homes right next to them. To stay in the drop zone, Mark needs to shorten the tower by breaking its spine as it falls. Powerful weather systems are a fact of life here. The structure was engineered to survive hurricane force winds. Its cores are nearly seven times thicker than an average residential buildings. If we can't control the elevator shaft, we can't control the building, and we don't have that much room to work with. The property line to the north lies just three and a half meters away. Losing control is not an option. Normally, this family business from Phoenix, Maryland, implodes structures because they've passed their prime. Ocean Tower is the newest high-rise CDI has ever dealt with. This time, Mark has to push demolition engineering to its limits. <laughs> 